like you to meet Dr. Alvin Weasley. Dr. Weasley is one of the most respected motivational researchers in the country. Harvey's beer has dropped 84%. So Dr. Weasley will tell us how the American public really feels about beer. Dr. Weasley. Beer is for men who doubt their masculinity. That's why it's so popular at sporting events and poker games. On a superficial level, a glass of beer is a cool, soothing beverage. But in reality, a glass of beer is pee-pee dicky. That's it. Beautiful. 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 Pee-pee Dicky. We paid for that? 28,000, and we got off easy. The man made some very perceptive statements. I got it. Make it big with Harvey's beer. Big form. You get a big bang out of it. Big, proud head. It's big. And it lasts long. You know, you're it's... about as subtle as an elephant in heat. That's great. We'll show an elephant sipping Harvey's beer at the circus. It's obscene. Don't moralize, Elias. We're committed to Harvey's beer. I'm committed to myself. Harvey's beer is the worst beer on the market. It's a loser. Get rid of it. There are no losers. Every product has potential. It's a stiff. No, no, don't say that. There's no such thing. You're a stiff. I'll not tolerate your self-indulgence. When your father comes in, I'm going to tell him exactly what you've said. Just because you were here when my old man started this agency, you know, that doesn't alter the facts. You played so many sides of the fence, you don't know where the fence is anymore. I know my job. Oh, that's beautiful. If it weren't for your father, you'd be on welfare. 60,000 a year, and all you can do is wreck the joint. He's right. He's not creative. But he knows the rules, and you gotta know the rules before you can break the rules. Right. There's no respect anymore. He's right, Nathan. You did your tango 30 years ago. Fascist. Duck Hunter loses his rifle, walks seven miles to a cat house, knocks on the door, the door opens, and madam says, who sent you? He says, in the 40s, it was Judy Canova and Victor Mature. In the 50s, it was Christine Jorgensen and James Dean. In the 60s, it was Smith and Wesson. That's it. He was a nice guy. Can you lend me five? Our job is to manipulate the consumer by arousing his desires, and then we satisfy those desires for a fixed price. Sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. It's called advertising. Yes? Thank you. Elias Sr. just went through the lobby. Well, let's go. Let's go, Bissinger. Our war toy account is up 23% and a third. Hey, Bissinger, you better get hip to reality. By advertising toy guns, you're encouraging kids to enjoy violence. You're only music director around here, Swope. What do you know about the total spectrum? I know what I feel. What's that got to do with it? I think we should drop the account. How dare you! Drop the account and show the business community and the public that we're morally and socially responsible. Groovy. Let's do it. Thank you. Putney, I've been supervising the war toy account for 12 years. And let me tell you something. Deny a young boy the right to have a toy gun, and you'll suppress his destructive urges. And he'll turn out to be a homosexual. Or worse. I'd rather have my son be a fag than a killer. Your son is a fag. You took him on the picnic hike. I didn't. <laughs> Last year at Malibu, only Jim was a fag. Two weeks ago, Steve and Ralph came over. Yesterday, Randy came over. There it is.
defrock priest is on the road. It's three in the morning. He's got a flat tire and it's raining. So he goes up to this farmhouse and We're he says... We're grossing less than a million a day and you're talking about flat tires and farmhouses? Get out of my life. Good morning, Mario. Good afternoon, Mario. Every consumer has a small box in his head. Everyone has a, a, a soap box, a, a bread box, a, a cereal box, a sh 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 shampoo box. This box is the target of $46 billion a year in advertising. Now, there's only so much room in each box. And if we overload these boxes with too much information, they won't remember anything. But if we use c c creative foreplay before we penetrate, we'll b b b b b b b b b benefit. B b b b b b b bypass. <laughs> Looks like. B Sounds like. How many syllables, Mario? How many syllables, Mario? How many syllables, Mario? How many syllables, Mario? We'll never know. I'm going to the track. Have a ball, baby. What do you think of those cufflinks? How many syllables, Mario? 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 I'm the senior vice president, so I'm the new chairman of bullshit. The corporate bylaws make it very clear that the only way we can determine a new chairman is by democratic process. Paragraph 68 specifically states that nobody can vote for himself. That's what it says, so that's where it's at. Vote for me and I'll get you into the Knights of Columbus. Vote for me, I'll give you 10% of the business. 25. Vote for me, and I'll set you up in Puerto Rico for life. I got Puerto Ricans in my building. Enough caucus, let's get the votes in. How can we talk about who's gonna be chairman of the board when, when my father's laying dead on the table? Why can't I be chairman of the board? Because you're a nitwit. My father started this agency. And you're not going to finish it. Thank you, Valerie. <clears throat> One for Elias. Swope. One for Bissinger. Swope. 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 Whoa. 
quo. That's it. One vote for Elias, one vote for Bessinger, nine votes for Swope. Swope! You don't have to accept. It's a terrible job. Don't take it, Swope! Take it easy, Nathan. I've seen your cardiogram. It's a mirage! The man's been elected and you voted for him. We all voted for him because we thought no one else would vote for him. Putney Swope is the new chairman of this board. And I will defend that mistake with my life. Congratulations, Putney. It's going to be a pleasure working with you, Swope. You're going to make a great chairman if you stay in line. My father would have wanted it this way. He dug you very much. Your father was a horse's ass. <laughs> yeah, but he dug you very much. The changes I'm going to make will be minimal. I'm not going to rock the boat. Rocking the boat's a drag. What you do is sink the boat. And there's no sense sinking nothing unless you can salvage with productive alternatives. And brothers, you can't change nothing with rhetoric and slogans. Because if a man's really got the truth in his pocket, he doesn't talk about it. He hangs it out on a shingle where people can see it. So from now on, the name of this agency is Truth and soul. T.S., baby. That's right. No smoking. Nathan, you a good businessman and you're not a cop out. So I'm going to let you stay. I want a contract that guarantees me an expense account. Stock options, 22 weeks vacation, a company car, a box at Jay Stadium, a percentage of the gross, total creative freedom. Transplant insurance and a no-cut clause. Nathan, you're corrupt. Thank you. I've come all the way from Miles City to ask you to be my woman. It must be my new depilatory, Superlip. Superlip eliminates peach fuzz and feminine whiskers. Superlip digs deep down into the hair follicle instead of just lopping it off at the surface. Cut! Cut! I don't believe it. Again? There's a bunch of lilies shooting a commercial in our studio. They must not know about the recent transition. Well, let's go take care of business. This chick's from nowhere, so it's up to you. Improvise. Do something. I've seen you work at Jones Beach with Guy Lombardo. I know you can pull it off. Super lip. Shot one. Take 107. Action. Action! Lady Beaver, I've come all the way from Biloxi to ask you to be my woman. Oh, Wayne. <laughs> You do go on. I have a malignancy in my prostate, but when you're in my arms, it's benign. Well, I d don't feel it. What did you say? I am not going to say it. It is stupid. Cut. Listen, sweetie, I could be home writing my novel. You could be playing Lady Macbeth in some basement. We're both here, aren't we? That's okay. Let's do it. 
Let's do it! Let's do it. Prostate, but when you're in my arms, it's quitting time. Get on out. Yeah, no more taking pictures of no jive cans and jive bottles and skinny leg broads with stockings on them. Get on out of here. We're gonna have some greasy fingers and some chicken and all the beautiful things that people have who have it, and you ain't got it. So get on out, you understand? We're not gonna take any more of your jive. Cause we're truth and soul, you understand? Truth and soul. Cause we got it, and we got a brother that's gonna make it right. We got brother Putnik. Okay. Every single account pulled out. I wish I'd have pulled out. Too many dependents, baby. It looks bad. Smoke. I think we're still in the ball game. Wing Sony just got off the elevator and he's dying to meet you. Wing Sony? Wing Sony. Wowie. this thing? Do-it-yourself Pearl Harbor? He's Chinese, Swole. I don't care what he is. We're gonna get that account. Let's go. Wing Tony, say hello to Putney Swope. Mr. Swope, I'm not a happy chappy. The agency that's currently handling my merchandise is the biggest nosebleed in town. Now, I have a new item, and I dig to launch it with a new outfit. So let me tell you about the get out of here mousetrap. The get out of here mousetrap is a unique breakthrough because after it traps a rodent, it chemically cremates. No flame, no noise, no mouse. I invented it myself. Mr. Sony, you're not gonna believe this, but then don't tell me. For the past six minutes, I've been working on a whole new approach to mouse traps. Lay it on him, Nathan. Columbus is on the Santa Maria. The crew's Italian. Columbus walks down the gangplank, and waiting at the bottom is a middle-aged Indian. Columbus knocks the Indian on his ass and sticks the Spanish flag in the ground. And out of the bushes comes a 75-year-old squaw with a cleft head and an ax in her back. But the Indian starts to cry because he knows he's going to be exploited. Columbus puts his arm around the Indian, points to the crew, and says, in exchange for your land, I'll give you 50 guineas. Cut to a shot of a get out of here mousetrap. Tell them how much it costs, where you buy it, and that's it. It's the most fantastic thing I ever heard. Who's your shrink? I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. My mousetrap is yours. You've revitalized me, Swope. Let's play. I'm a happy chink. We did it, Swope. We did it. You fired. Why? That Columbus thing is the worst thing I ever heard. I thought it was brilliant. That's why you take in the next elevator. Hey, you a messenger for TS? Uh, yes, sir. From now on, use the freight elevator. Yes, sir. I just heard about the Get Out of Here campaign. It's a trailblazer, Swope. Your, your, your mouse trap conception is a masterpiece. Why, it's already a, a, a classic. As far as I'm concerned, you're my man. I would like to discuss the possibility of you handling my account, would you? I'm with the Audie Murphy Toy Company. We just came out with a junior miss flamethrower that runs an ordinary lighter fluid. And next week, we're coming out with a heavy-duty model for the back-to-college group. It features an afterburner and five-second reloading with disposable propane cassettes. 
I won't have nothing to do with war toys or cigarettes and do something about your breath. Tell me what you like. I'll go out and make it. I'll produce it, you push it. You and me, Swope. If you stiffs want T.S. to do your advertiser, it's gonna cost you a million bucks up front. Cash. That's hallway robbery, Swope. That's a outrage. The price is right. But I can't come up with a million bucks in cash. Me neither. Forget it, baby. If your sales don't increase by 50%, you'll get a complete refund. I am in, Swope. Me too. You and me, Swope. Don't forget me. Pit stop the other end. Pinkleberries, chicken pot pies. Jim Karanga of Watts, California, is eating a bowl of ethereal cereal, the heavenly breakfast food. Jim, did you know that ethereal cereal has twice as much vitamin B as any other leading cereal? Ethereal also has the added punch of .002 ESP units of pectin. No shit! Dinkleberry's chicken pot pies. Ground rules. Give us the name of your product. What is supposed to do then take a walk? We don't need your ideas, we don't need your advice, and we don't need lames in the hallway. Lucky Airlines. Introducing this redneck New Jersey, Eugenie Ferlinger. Eugenie is 23. She's five foot four and weighs 117 pounds. She has blue eyes and blonde hair with matching cuffs and collar. Eugenie is a graduate of the Sawbone T-Bone Diner in Redneck, where she majored in philosophy. She's a social worker, and her favorite hobby is emasculation. Jeannie, in 25 words or less, would you tell us what your philosophy is? Well, I believe that everyone, no matter their race, creed, or color, should get a piece of the action. A piece of the what, Eugenie? A piece of the pie. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Confidentially, mm. folks, I never thought she'd get that line. <laughs> oh, fuck off, Bert. Everybody wants a Dinkleberry frozen chicken pot pie, and they'll do anything to get it. Who did that? You do that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I 
didn't do it. Now, what are you doing, taking a temperature? Boss, don't fire me. I got a wife, three kids, and a Shetland pony. Should have thought of that before you dipped your pen in company ink. Oh, oh man, give me a break. I'm in love. All right, you get one more chance, but she's got to go. What do you mean, I gotta go? That's right. Just because you got a pair of jugs don't mean you rule the world. That's right. Mr. Swope. Clean out your locker. Up yours. Mm hmm. I didn't mean to put down your jugs, baby, but uh, gotta protect my interests. Mm -hmm. Mark Focus is waiting in reception. Thank you. Great window cleaner. Don't drip and it don't streak. But it smells bad. Cleans good, but it smells bad. As a window cleaner, forget it. Put soybeans in it for protein and we'll push it as a soft drink in the ghetto. Lay a picture of a rhythm and blues singer on it and we'll call it Victrola Cola. I think we got a winner. We better. Or you and that jism are gonna be back in that drugstore where I found you. Okay. If your lip was hip, you wouldn't need no gym. How you sound? So rose that in. How you sound? I don't know, baby, but I'm wherever I'm sounding from. I'm stacked up, and I'm gonna stay stacked up. But I want to know about this Putney dude and the faggot in the tap department. What's a blonde faggot in the tap department? Next time he bends over and pick up the paper clip to jail, I'm going to sock and throw right in his keister. Does he like dudes? I don't know, man, but he's got a boss little round ass and them tight bell bottom pants. I know that. Well, if you're tripping and you're going that way. Well, so my I'll Johnson did hard, Jim. It knows no discrimination. Yeah, discrimination, huh? No, when my Johnson get hard, everything goes. Just was okay, but you can can control it. Mr. Swope. Mark, focus. They did that for Hertz? That's Colgate? It's Nabisco? That's IBM? I seen enough, Mark. You're one of the best photographers in the business. Thank you. This printout I'm working on is perfect for you. If it's me, it's 9,000. 9,000? I just want a picture of a light bulb with lipstick on it. Make it six. Hey, man, it's going in a newspaper, not an art gallery. 1,200 is the best I can do. Forget it. 350. I'll do it for nothing. I need to work. I can get anybody for nothing. Take a walk. La la la, Mohamedou Rasouli la, boss. Who you think you are, Lawrence of Nigeria? This ain't Jai. Big man. You want to have din din? Why have dinner? I'm a 1293 Lennox. Apartment 4C. I got to be straight with you, girl. I'm engaged. Keep it to yourself, Swope. I'm gonna bend your Johnson. I'm ready. I'm gonna make you young again. Stratosphere, baby, stratosphere. I'm stacked up over LaGuardia, and I'm not coming down for nobody. 
Not even you. <laughs> Sonny Williams, our copywriter, just got busted at Radio City. He was sitting in the first row, and when the Rockettes came on, he opened and closed his raincoat and exposed himself. Bad PR. Tell Sonny next time he shows it, I'll make him a creative director. Sonny, if you don't straighten up, we're going to send you to Hollywood as a choreographer. Putney, we just stole 17 new accounts, and Cowboy says we have 156 million. Mr. Swope, yeah. brother's in the black room. Putney, there's trouble in the black room. Mr. Swope, brother's in the black room. Just you and me, Swope. You and me. I deal with housing in the community. Bad plumbing, bad heating, and bad rats. The only way to set this thing straight is with self-determination, self-respect, and self-defense. We don't go for Jesus no more. Violence is a cleansing force. We must adjust ourselves to the level of our audience, which is pretty low. Nonviolence has proven to be non-functional. So it's guns, baby. The end result will be our own political, social, economic future. My organization is pro-integration. We're not hostile like these other groups. We can't do it legally, we'll do it legitimately. You know, up front. Tanks, cocktails, guns, baby. The pigs must cease the brutality, destruction, and murder of our brothers and sisters, or they'll suffer the consequences from the armed people of the community. Bazookas! Tanks, flamethrowers. My organization is pro-integration. We're not hostile like these other groups. Lay some bread on it. Guns, baby. A gun is not going to get your job. It'll eliminate the competition. Who the hell wants a job? You better get yourself a piece. Lay some bread on it. Lay some bread on it. Lay some bread on it. My group doesn't need your money, man. But what we can use is your help on another level. I believe that together with your power and my structure, we could create a subliminal tremor throughout the land by using the advertising that comes out of your toilet. A word here, a phrase there, Innuendos. And subtleties. Lay some bread on it. And when the time is right, man, we move in for the kill. No mercy. Stamp on them. What about the bread? Tap City. When my ship comes in, I'll call you. You're a sham. I'm going to pull the covers off you. You ain't pulling the covers off of nobody. to see, man. I was looking all around for you, Jim. Do you know what, man? Like, I'm tired. I'm fed up. I didn't take no more. I can't stand no more of Putney Swoop, man. Like, he's got to go, man, because this cat is a jive cat, you understand? You know what, man? Like, I have been jugging his old lady. Do you dig this? And this cat has never said nothing to me, man. I have called him out many times in front of all the people around here who kissed this cat's ass, man. I don't kiss his ass, because I call it like it is, man. This man caught me with his woman, and still, this cat can't get rid of me, because I got the power, you understand? I got the power, I got the talent, and I got everything that this cat wants. He keeps me around here because I make him look good, you understand? And I'm tired of making this cat look good. Are you ready to die? <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, I'm ready to die. I'm ready to go anywhere, do anything, see anybody, walk, talk, smart, be anything to do what I got to do, man. I'm die. Die means nothing to me, man. You know, I just want to get things straight around here, man, because Putney Swoop is a jive cat, man. He can't talk. He can't walk. He can't sit. Man, this cat can't do nothing right. He was voted in here on a Hummer. Mr. Swope, I'm tired of doing commercials. I want to do something more creative. Pick up your severance pay. Why? Did I ask you why when you said you wanted to do something more creative? Nope. I feel like an Oreo cookie. You look like a pile of shit. Are you putting me on? Where you been, Pat? Mecca. The man says he's the president of the United States. Genial. I want to extend to you my deepest congratulation. It's very, very important to have a boy like you in such a prominent position. <gasps> it's good for me, it's good for you, and it might keep the summers cool. I like your style, Swap, so I'm going to throw some business your way. I never chase foul balls. You are a lot of laughs. Next time I'm up in Big Town, we'll get together and shoot up or something. What you want, man? Mr. Six, the man who owns the Borman Six, is a friend of mine. Take care of him. Quick. Looks good. He'll come around. Thank you. Excellent, Mimeo. I like the way you handle yourself on the telephone. You're nobody's fool, except perhaps mine. But I'm glad I chose you for this job. You have justified my faith in you. However, Mimeo, there is one question. This business about shooting up in the big town. After all, a man in your position, which is a rather strange position, you have justified my confidence in having chosen such a big man for this assignment. There are, however, one or two points I would like to bring up. After all, I'm sure Barnum and Bailey wouldn't mind having you back. So please, I suggest you be a little more careful. Mrs. Mimeo, you play divinely. Perhaps you would like to play for me sometime. Nice wife you have there, Mimeo. It would be most unfortunate, would it not, if anything should happen to her? Don't worry, Mr. Six. The Borman Six is going to be okay. I hope you're right, Mimeo, for your sake. But now we have a moment of joviality. We relax. You, Ruthie, and I, we sit down. We partake of a bit of grass. I've got some good shit. <laughs> tell me, tell me something, Mimio. Do you have the new Maximilian Shell album? I love rock and roll. Perhaps the electric pygmy. Ruthie, you're looking lovelier than ever, my dear. From now on, if outsiders want to talk to me, they're going to talk in my face. No more telephones. Too much communication. If you take out the phones, how are we going to conduct business? with your head and your soul. That's right. That's unrealistic. If you want reality, I'm going to put you back on the streets. The dude's right. We don't need phones. I can get a message to California quicker than you can make a phone call. Oh. The drum. Say what? The drum. What's that? Vibrations. Out, Odinga. You're finished. I heard you fired Mr. Odinga. How did you find out? The drum. Man, Lopez says this place is crazy. Who's Lopez? He's in my head. Hmm, that's right. I've been running this tree hut just like it was run before, straight into the ground. I've made a few innovations, but not enough. I have a feeling that there's a lot of untapped talent around here. So beginning right now. I want each and every one of you to conceive, write, produce, and execute your own campaign. If you don't think you can come up with something new, 
and don't come up with nothing. And if you don't feel that you're the creative type, then pitch in and help somebody else with what they're doing. Creative juices are flowing, my main man. You've liberated my muse. Picture a foxy chick sitting on a park bench. The camera zooms underneath her dress, and you cut to a train coming out of a tunnel. It's a commercial for the Long Island Railroad. Like it's surreal, man, surreal. Are you for surreal? I don't have any ideas, but it's good to know that if I ever do, I'll be able to try them out. I just came up with three names for teenage skin creams. No Blim, Squeeze No, and Face Off. Get rid of him. Mr. Swope, I think we should do all our commercials in sepia. And instead of having coffee breaks, we should have watermelon breaks. Get rid of him, too. Hey, here's a poem I wrote when I was in jail. Life is but a relentless journey to a path of oncoming screeching car with headlights of boredom and a bumper of social responsibility. Mr. President, did you hear about the woman who asked her husband to walk out to the garbage can with her? Are you out of your mind, replied her husband. Not at all, replied the wife. I'd like the neighbors to know we go out together once in a while. <laughs> Mr. President, did you hear about the fellow who was 9 feet 8 inches tall and wore a size 22 shoe? And do you know what he did for a living? He stamped out forest fires. Mimeo. What is that? The game one wanted me to throw it back, but I put up such a fight that I mounted it. Mr. President, this fellow went down to Florida to do a demonstration, a oh, benefit this is show. Oh, funny man. Funny man. In a benefit show, and they put up a special platform with a trap door. Emilio, who is this schmuck you have hired? They're and, babbling in your ear and over his, and over, Mr. President, Mr. President. What Mr. banality. Mr. President. And oh. this fellow's show was so terrible that when the trap door opened, Lucy. if it wasn't for the Maybe fact like he had a rope toe. around his neck, about he would have broken nose. his legs. <laughs> and he couldn't kick. <laughs> <laughs> your yeah, ideas funny, but actually when I think about your ideas funny. <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President. Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> It's cold in here. Throw another Jew on the fire. <laughs> Mr. President. Oh. Mr. President. There were three women of Florida. <laughs> Mr. President, there were three women of Florida. Back it to me, baby. Des describing what wonderful. <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President. It started last weekend at the Yale Howard game. Girl, I saw your beaver flash. I'll never be the same. Simple. 
If you treat your pimples right My man uses Mesar He's really out of sight And so are his pimples just created a skin cream called Face Off, and I just come up with a whole new concept for the Long Island Railroad. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. Did you take your pill? You'll never know. Is Mr. Swap in? Huh? This is President Mimio. Yeah. Botany? Yeah. Guess who? <laughs> Marcus Garvey. Nope. Try again. President Mimeo. How did you guess? I used to be an exterminator. You might be saying I used to have an agency. If you don't get moving on the Borman 6. Why are you so hung up on the Borman 6? I'm a stockholder. Let me sleep on it. Good night, pal. Focus. What do you want? Did that for Hertz? That's Colgate? Nabisco? I've seen enough, Mark. You're one of the best photographers in the business. Thank you. Take a walk. Mr. President? Mark Focus. I did this for Kennedy. I did this for Johnson. I did this for Nixon. And this is the Agnew funeral. Have you a picture of Raquel Welch? Would you like to join us? Did you vote for me? Well, it's okay. Six. All right. If I ever think of anything, I'll let you know. Did you think of something? The Borman Six, nitwit. Listen, Swope. If you want me to come up with ideas, get me a license. Take me down to City Hall and do what's right. Forget it. You forget. Congratulations. 
Yes. What about the Borman Six? Oh, all right. What are they going to feature next year? Defects, pollution, velvet safety belts, strobe headlights, fiberglass... Okay. Oil. You got to get a young girl with soul. You better get moving on that freight elevator. Sonny Williams got picked up in the Bronx Holiday Inn with a 13-year-old girl. Well, at least he's not superstitious. Your lawyer, who's his lawyer, wants to be the prosecuting attorney. Guess Sonny Williams in here. Now. Would you like to come over to my house and have some dainties? I don't exercise. Don't put me down. I can't sleep because of you. That's why I've got these valises under my eyes. I'm in love with you, Myron X. My name is Rufus. I don't care what your name is. You're my man. I'm not your man. Yes, you are. I'm not your man, and I never will be. I don't care what you say to me. You're my biggest fantasy. I dream about you every night. It's okay. Just don't send me the laundry bill. Putney says the Borman Six girl has got to have soul. Putney says the Borman Six girl has got to have soul. Putney says the Borman Six girl is got to have soul. Got to have soul. Putney says the Borman Six girl is. Best shit out here. Excuse me, Mr. Swalford. Can I might speak to you a minute? Sure. Uh, Mr. Swalford, I do exactly the same job as the other executives, but I don't make as much money as they do. I don't think that's right. If I give you a raise, everybody's going to want a raise. And if I give them a raise, they'll still be making more money than you. And we'll be right back where we started. I never thought of it that way. And that's why you get less money. Because you don't think. Thank you.
You can't eat an air conditioner. What about the messengers? They charge a nominal leg in there, but it's worth it. <laughs> What's that for? Worth it life insurance. did that? You did. It was your idea. Not bad. Not bad. We'll have 12 more by sundown. 
want these on the air by tomorrow night. Putney, in my humble opinion, these commercials are tasteless. Putney, Myron X said you were tasteless. You said we were going to do things with integrity and style. What we're doing is worse than anything our predecessors ever done. Damn commercials are literal and they're disgusting. And by advocating such filth, Putney is confusing obscenity with originality. Let me unconfuse you, baby. Everybody that was in these commercials, you fired. They ain't one of them around. And I know you were job care, because you done made the last mistake you ever gonna make, mister. I've seen that nonsense you trying to show us here. You trying to dupe everybody in this joint. Now, what is this? We done taking the last bit of your nonsense, man. I'm not gonna take all this crap. Everybody knows you a job nigga. You done pull all this job shit. Your mother had a creative idea when she born you, and you had to go and blow that. Now, you're gonna come and try to show us all this crap. A nigga sitting up there eating cornflakes. Man, you ain't had nothing original since you got here. You stole the idea about poor and sick. You got it from your wife. Are you gonna tell me that's a lie? When I cheat, told me herself. And that little, that little nephew who gave you that idea for that other thing, and you got rid of him. Ain't nobody around who helped you in anything. Everybody either been shut up, cut up, or been put out. Did you see this trash this man is trying to sell us? Look at your high water pants, your job nigga. Look at your two button suit. Now, what kind of suit is that? He's supposed to be a soul, brother. Look at his brother's hair. Everybody dressed up like pride and dignity. You ain't got none. Now, what kind of job call it? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. This company runs because I'm here. And I'm gonna hate you if you don't get right. And you ain't right. And I hate you. I hate you, you understand? I hate you because you a job cat. You ain't got nothing inside. You got to go. You got to go or I got to go, and I'm not going. Now, how you like that? He ain't got a thing inside him. He ain't nothing but a shell. Hey, man, you gotta let me go! I'm gonna get him! Shit! Get over here! Cut! Cut! the money, Swope, but don't put it on the air or I'll be out of business. What's wrong with it? Too much tailpipe. Listen, you. You lucky I'm pushing this death trap. I don't play. It goes on the air tomorrow night. <laughs> Making a delivery? But I'll make it down the stairs and come back up the freight elevator. 36 flights. I don't care what it is. Why do I have to take the freight elevator? I'm not a package. Because it's custom. It's policy. in the world. I'll see you later. I love you, Walter. I love you too, Mother. You know you're not supposed to serve food without something on your head. I don't want your hair in my food. I've told you a hundred times. Get in the kitchen. Honey, I'm sorry about this sandwich. That tile man's got the kitchen so stacked high with tiles, cook can't cook anything. I'd send the damn tiles back, but you know we're having a dinner party on Friday. How do you like working for Mr. Swope? Oh, you see, it's terribly difficult to run such a big house, but then I really do think it's important this house is run well. And uh, I'm not, like, washing windows here. I'm uh, sort of... Um, Secretary in the, or in a very old-fashioned way. Mark. Do you think 
your approach to advertising will encourage young people to go into advertising? I hope not. Well, do you conceive your creations under the influence of drugs? Hey, Swope, what do you think of the Panthers? They look good against the Bulldogs, but they need more depth at quarterback. Uh, last night, between 8 and 10 o'clock, only 14% of the usual amount of people left the house to buy newspapers and ice cream. Uh -huh. In essence, your commercials were so good that nobody left the house to buy anything or burn anything. Uh, would you comment on that? I think anything I would say would just be redundant. Mr. Swope, where have you been all these years? Laying in the cut. Mr. Putney, did you sleep with your wife before you married her? Not a wink. What is your position on the checkerboard of life? Is it true that you refuse to advertise war toys, cigarettes, and alcoholic beverages? You said it. Where did you get the name Truth and Soul? In the streets. Excuse me, Mr. Swopes. Gourmet Magazine says your commercials are tasteless and that you should be censored. Now, my question is, in what direction are you heading? I'm going uptown. Can I give anybody a lift? Get off of my short, baby! <laughs> You little bitch. What are you doing out here? Get your ass in that house immediately. Go on, move. What do you think I have for anyway? Come on. Get in here, you motherfucker. Get in. Uh, I believe Mr. Swope asked you to use the freight elevator. Since when is that your business? Since right now. And if I catch you using that elevator again, I'm going to tell Mr. Swope. Knows what's best for me. That's him, baby. Who? Putney. Putney. Sonny Williams again. He was a guest on Dating Game, and when he didn't win, he stood up and exposed himself again. CBS went off the air for seven hours. Bail him out and get him in here. Oh, Mr. Swope, I'm Sister Basilica. And this here's Billy Riley. Uh, Billy's an orphan, and he wants to be your pal. Now, if you want to be Billy's pal, all you have to do is fill out the necessary papers and take him out of the settlement once a week. <laughs> oh, you know, you know. You can take him out to lunch or take him for a ride. You're taking me for a ride. Oh, be a pal. Shouldn't you be in school? Fuck you! And fuck the establishment! And fuck you people who are trying to make me part of the unestablished establishment! All right, I'll pick you up tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I'll take you to the zoo, then we'll go to the ball game. Why don't you just adopt me and get it over with? Don't push me, pal. Whatever you decide, don't do it out of guilt. Oh, bless you. If this stiff comes through, we have it made. Brother, you were voted in here on a jive hummer. Now how, when, are things going to happen, man? Your whole cart has been peeped. When are things going to start to change? Where is the revolution you are talking about? There ain't nothing happening. There is no revolution the way you're running this joint, man. Now, when is something going to happen? When are you going to do it? When and how? What day? Give me a time, man. Show me how progress is going to be made. There ain't no progress the way this is running now. This is Sonny Williams. What do you got to say for yourself, Sonny? Don't feel bad. There's a man who is doing something. That is a revolution, man. Don't you understand? When are you going to start? When are you going to do something? Putney, the president of the United States wants to see you in three hours. He says he'll meet you halfway, so it's all set for Philadelphia. Mr. Swope, Mark, focus. This for Hertz, that's Colgate, that's Nabisco, that's
That's IBM. And this is for Mr. Swope. It's Rockefeller. It's Rockefeller. Putting under his name. Hey, nuts. We made it, bud. It's phenomenal. We've thrown a tremendous hump into the cooling industry. Who told you to open your mouth? No one. It just happened. All right. I created Face Off. I conceived the Borman Six, and don't forget the mousetrap. The rest of you people took old ideas and broke it down concepts and embellished them with a sense of show business. But that's not enough. When I see things that ain't fresh, I get butterflies in my ulcer. So from now on, you got to come up with completely original fantasies. Stop looking at the tube. Stop reading magazines and newspapers and don't talk to strangers. And just don't. Get on the freight elevator. Get rid of him. What do you want me to do with him? Get him a gig with the president. Stay on the job and you get to meet President Mimeo. You'll all take him off. Do you like my demonstrator swap? I put them in front of your building because you won't advertise cigarettes, war toys, and alcoholic beverages. And that's discrimination. I also hear you flipped over the Borman 6. Bum trip swap. If you keep discriminating against those products, I'm going to keep up the demonstration. It's a small world swap. Don't cross me. Let's move out. Say please. I said move out! Back to welfare, Trigger. Okay, move out. Rent yourself a short, schmuck! He 
Hing. My word, Hing. Maybe Hingleberry or Hingsorio. Hing spells nothing, begins nothing possible unto Webster. It is my very, very own Hing. Hing in the teeth of the wind and in the faces of governments and men. Hing. Hing uninvited. Hing unexcited. Hing retiring into his own Heenhood. I built a wooden Heen once and fooled no one. I painted Heen in oils and ran out of canvas. But I shall follow wherever Heen lead till Heen vanish into darkness. My word, Heen. Get everybody into the conference room. Heen so Got it. Heen. Put that out. Among the cigarettes, well, what do you say? Daily war toys. We just came out with a new game called Cops and Demonstrators. Bull Connor Bourbon, you name the price, Swope. Among the cigarettes, well, what do you say? Ethereal cereal. You saved me. Whatever they're doing and start thinking up ideas for Bull Connor Bourbon. Longer cigarettes and a new game called Cops and Demonstrators. I thought you said we wasn't going to advertise that kind of stuff. I changed my mind. I thought only women changed their mind. The man's copping out. What you say? I said you're a cop out. Get out of here. And don't come back either. Shit. You're a punk. If you were my brother, I'd kill you. I want these campaigns ready by 5 o'clock. Sharp. Are you sure you want to do this? I already done it. What do you really want to do? Advertise garbage or do what's right? Both. The man's a genius. Good people. I tested them, but they did not cop. You mean that whole scene was a put on? That's right. There's eight million in change here. Figure what's left and divide it up equally. Forget the messengers and forget the A-Rat. Beautiful, baby! Beautiful! Putney, if you want to push cigarettes and booze, it's all right with me. That's right. Putney, I don't care what you advertise, as long as I get my raise. Brother, if you want to advertise crap, that's your prerogative. You're my man. That's right. I'm with you, Pud. Whatever the hell you want to do, I'm with you. You're a genius, Putney. Do your thing.
before I get hot here and have to tell my cousin Saran Saran rap. The man says you get nothing. You get nothing. Man say I get nothing. Then I get nothing. You got a light? Right.